David's new RCI 2970N4, and we've installed the AC Mod standalone unit. Here we have a view of the rear of the 2970N4. As you can see, we have our HDMI cable, our high and low power switch, and the up position, it's on high power, and the low position, it's on low power. Uh, you have your ground connector which connects to your ground here on your standalone unit. Um, you have your PTT, uh, external PTT that you can control by the uh, standalone unit as well. And your line on connector here. We've also installed a high and low power switch. Here on the AC mod standalone, we've installed the amp here and the PTT connection. You have your line in and of course your ground connection. This is the newer style, 2970N4, with the LED display, rather than the LCD. Allows you to see it from every angle. Okay, so we'll go ahead and uh, run a short test. We'll try it on an AM, and then on sideband. So let's go ahead and uh, set it to AM. Set the ICOM IC 706 MK2G to AM as well. And we'll bring all the controls on the standalone counterclockwise. And uh, we'll go to Pro Tools. Uh, we'll kill the mic. We'll key up. And um, that's, set, that's a 50 watt slug. So we'll set, uh, and we're on low power at the moment. Low power. So we'll set the carrier, let's say, for 2 watts, right there. We'll set our reference here, and uh, we'll start the signal generator. And of course, right now, we have to plug the line-in connector for the signal gen. And we'll key up. And as you can see, you see the audio envelope starting to form. We'll give it some modulation until we hit the 99% right there. It's 100%. All right, now we have eight watts of PEP on the meter from a two watt dead key that brings us at 100% modulation. And then you have your asymmetry to bring up your positive peaks, give you some loudness, so let's leave it there at uh, 100%. Okay, now we'll transmit. We'll start recording here on Vegas. And as you can see, from a 2-watt dead key, we're peaking to about 8 watts. That brings us to 100% modulation. That's what it sounds like being recorded here as received in the ICOM IC706 MK2G. We're pretty much all set here. Let's go ahead and disconnect the line-in connector to see what it sounds like with the stock microphone. Disconnect the line and connector, and I will talk on the mic, regular hand mic. And uh, this is the regular hand mic. As you can see, the peaks it swings to about 15 watts. That's because we're not using any compression or limiting, and that's why it's good to use compression. As you can see, audio. Uh, the needle wants to go all the way to 15 watts before the uh, ALC starts kicking in. Audio uh, one two. But it does kick in, but it takes a little bit. There's a little delay there. Okay, so let's go back to the line-in. Once, Once we, we plug, plug the line-in connector, it disables our mic. And now we'll be talking the RE20 audio test. One, two, three.